Hello everyone, welcome back to more Rwanda Lakefront Academy of Football Magic 2020. This is Lord of the Samurai. I completely forgot to mention that, but yeah, um, if you have not watched the last episode, go and watch it now. It was massive. It was the biggest episode yet. So I recommend, I urge you to go watch it. And um, yeah, in this episode, we are going to um, play the first match of the Champions League group stage. Yeah, you heard me right. We're here in the Champions League group stage, not CCC. In the Champions League. Now, uh, last time, basically, what happened is, um, I'll just explain it now. We we played um, against Tetuan and our new striker. Uh, he just tore them apart. Uh, he actually scored in the match. And I actually have a nickname for him. I gave him a city name because I couldn't think of anything better. Uh, this time, we went to the South American city, which um, is, uh, uh, I'm obviously South American and I'm not. I'm not actually from the nation this city's from, but uh, I. I figured we haven't given a player a South American name yet. We've given a player North American name, an Oceanian name, uh, yeah, European name or Asian, depending on what part you cut Moscow in. And uh, we haven't given a South American name. We've even given African names as well, but no South America yet. So this guy's name is going to be Medellin. So yeah, this even is even near us, of course. And uh, yeah. Um, Beautiful two is probably gonna leave in the. Wow, he, he might leave to UAE. That's that's. I would I would be in favor of that actually, because beautiful two like he could be a good option off the bench, but he doesn't have he doesn't have much much time to let go here. So we could be I could be in favor of that to be honest because we already have our two new strikers and uh, I don't use uh, bench players that often especially when the um when the strikers are just so above the rest. So yeah, today we're going to play Vita Club, which we actually played a few seasons back. We drew away from home, no no in Kinshasa, but we uh, lost the home leg two one. So this could be a good revenge uh, game here. Uh, of course, if you're wondering, the league we're dominating it again. Not really much to say there. We won the Super Cup. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna make my lineup here. Uh, I think I'm happy with the lineup for the most part. I'm just double checking. Oh yeah, okay. Let me just have a drink and I'll announce the lineup. All right, so we're gonna play with Washington Net as always. You know the 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 good the best one and keeper there is. Uh, Canberra, Ibra two, Yannick two, and Mogadishu at the back. Ivasor, Molenda, Moscow, and Kaza in the, in midfield. Uh, Kaza and Ivasor the two wide midfielders, and Medellin in the light up front, which is. The, one of the most lethal uh, strike forces in maybe Africa. I, I wouldn't know. I don't know if I'd say that, but they are um, they are unforgiving, and they've shown it time and time again. Well, at least the light has. Medellin has only shown it on a few occasions. So let's see. Um, oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, I didn't mention the group last time. Actually, we um we got our lucky sunshine stars of Vita Club. Uh, right before we start, I will mention this and. Yeah, um, this is going to be the, the, the second biggest game, I reckon, in the groups, because Vita Club were the second strongest club. Uh, I'd say we're the weakest, technically, but I think we can finish third at least. And uh, we really want to uh, win games in this, because CCC, you don't really get money. In this, um, you get money for every win. 100k, exactly. So, yeah, uh, we're not going to get six wins. I, let's just accept that now. But three wins, we get 300k. And um, if you go through, and that makes it even better. And as you know, we are on the red, so we uh, gotta get some, we gotta get some money for it. So I really hope you go through the group stages. That will really solve our money problems. Um, I don't think three wins will cut it for it, but we, anything other more than that's kind of unrealistic. So we gotta we gotta have our eyes set in something on a realistic goal. And yeah, let's uh, submit team. I'm gonna go that lineup to play Vita Club in Kinshasa. Which is actually the neighboring country. So, all well, Kinshasa's on the other side. Kinshasa's on the west. And uh, Rwanda is... Um, Rwanda is on the border with uh, Lake Kivu, I'm pretty sure. So, what do you think I've given them the name? Uh, Rwanda Lakefront. Well, what the... Okay, I was about to say, we're not gonna play in the boardroom, are we? All right, looks like they have um, some of the same, similar players that they had last time. I believe this guy, Mandanda, did well against the, the last time we played. 
you know, he's not great, but he's got good off the ball. So he'll cause some trouble in that sense. I mean, he's got good stats. Look at that. Look at his goal scoring record. That's very good. So got to watch out for him. He tore us apart last time, if I recall correctly. Now, we're underdogs here. I don't want to talk about faith in them, as I always do. All right, let's see if um, let's see what we can get from this match. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I I partially expect to win because we uh we have shown we can do that, but I'm not too sure. Like maybe we'll uh, get something else. Maybe we'll lose. Be the clue bar, no pushovers at all. So, and I don't know if I'd say they're one of the strongest teams in Africa anymore, but. I mean, they have, they have better players than us anyways. All right, there's a highlight. Mogadishu gets it up. There's the light. Let's head it back. Rwana. There's Mputu. Okay. Uh, Menga has it on the left. Okay, they're going to lose the ball, aren't they? Uh, Menga, cross it in. And there's the first goal for me, the club. Cardo, Mputu scores. We get a partial block, but doesn't matter. The ball went in. Okay, um, demand more. Oh, I did not mention. Oh, hold on, let me hit the highlight. Hopefully, I don't forget what I was gonna say. Oh, nice, Kaza. There's Medellin. We score. Come on. All right, I did not mention, but um. I think that we are going to uh, do one match per episode for the group stages. Just to kind of prolong it. Last time we uh, did three matches in the, group, in the Confederations Cup group stage. And the first time we did all six. But we um, we basically uh, did double headers. And I think we've had a little bit too many double headers lately. So because of the two legs. So I'm just going to do one per episode. Also makes my editing job easier. So part of the reason as well. But it's mostly to vary. It's mostly to vary. Come on, Mogadishu, you can stop him. No, he can't. All right, get it out. Moscow. All right, we have it out. Medellin. Okay, he's running at the fence, intimidating them. Avisor. There's Canberra. Cross it in. There's Kaza. Ooh, shoots on the left side. Keeper saves it. All right, we're going to get this a good go. Kaza. Light Ibra, all right. Yeah, we're giving this a good go, even better since the goal. We did not have much possession, but it's all right, we're countering, so yeah, it's kind of contradictory because to counter, you need a good defense, and I don't have a great defense, like, I have a decent one at best, but an accomplished defense I have, which is enough to uh do something, but. Yeah, my, uh, as I've said many times before, my uh, firepower comes from the strikers. Like, they're, they're, they're the ones who don't forgive. And now that we have a better striker than Beautiful 2, then uh, that's, that's even better. Beautiful 2 is a, was a great option for many, many years, but Medellin just comes along and he's just better. Like, he's got be way better stats. Uh, we're not doing badly at all. That's what I want to tell them. All right. And actually, it's actually losing the Sunshine Stars. I don't know how much. I can't see it. And I'm not going to check the latest scores. I'm going to keep track of the table. But, yeah, they're actually losing. All right. Kabea. It's, all right. Can we win the ball back? There's Mputu. All right, we can't. Gessling and Mputu scores the second. That was a very good finish in fairness to them. Very, very good finish. All right, we want to get at least a draw here because we want some of the prize money. We want the prize money. Demand more. Should we take up another issue? A small Patrick on the bench. He is. Yeah, we'll put small Patrick on then.
And we've been, since that goal, we've been way inferior. Ruko. We haven't had a shot since their goal, and they've had like seven. So, partially, part of me doesn't t t part of me doesn't say that uh, we're going to get much out of this result. And I was gonna put the wingers up. Actually, you know what? I'll do um I'll do that just because I could I could be beautiful on the left. Yeah, beautiful can play on the left. I'm kind of forgetting how to play there, but we tried in there in the four two three one. If you recall, kind of worked, kind of didn't. 4 to 3 one in general is a bust, though. And uh, there's five minutes of extra time. Let's see if we can uh, get something here. Doesn't look likely, though, because they're getting all the shots. Yeah, okay. It's going to end 1-2-1. Disappointing start, but it's Vita Club. It's not the end of the world. The next one is the big one. Uh, we're playing Sunshine Stars at home. And uh, they actually ended up drawing. In the end, yeah, they do two two. They were um, up two nil, and uh, they balled in the last fifteen or oh, twenty minutes. Actually, yeah, the last fifteen. So, yeah, we actually host them, and that will be the next episode. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this Lola Sailor, and I'm signing off. Cheers.